previously on Dragon Quest Builders. This is the building that houses the herbalist workstation and I have another building at the top. The vegetable patch now looks like this and we got these two vines going up either side which leads to some more ballistas so we can shoot down the Hades Condor, yay! Hey. I lined the whole corridor with naughty night lights. We have a nice little memorial for all the people who lost to the blights. Let's just take a moment to pay our respects. I can't wait to show you this. This is the best part and I can't wait to show you this. I spent ages doing this. But basically, we have a fountain walkway! <laughs> you created a cure just for me. Of course. Yay, Ellie is cured. Hello and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. The base is now completely finished. I've just added the finishing touches. As you can tell, I didn't go with grass around the sides. I decided that it would take too long and I couldn't be bothered to do it. <laughs> I instead just made it the whole area water. It's just a whole entire area of water and I just decorated it with these water plants all the way around. I put some fountains here and there as well. I think I only put like two fountains down because I spent a lot of time collecting fountains for the little bit at the front of the base, you know, the fountain walkway. I spent a lot of time making fountains there so I just really didn't want to do any more. <laughs> so I just decided to do it like this instead. Don't forget to leave a name suggestion for the town. I would love to have a name for the town. So I don't really think we have that much to do. Oh yeah, I put these flowers outside the front of the base as well and that's what they actually look like once they've sprouted because if you remember last time we planted some at the front of our veggie patch but they did not look like this last time so they've actually finally sprouted and they're really pretty look how pretty they are I love them they are really pretty plants all right so today we're gonna deviate a little bit because I want to make sure that everything is finished before we carry on with the story because I have a feeling the Hades Condor is really really close I don't know how close oh yeah I added a chimney up here <laughs> I don't know how close but I know it must be soon so what I want to do is use up our keys because I know there are some places around here that were locked and you needed a key to get into them oh I moved my evil idols as well I figured they'd be better here at the front and on the sides but that's about it I'm gonna go now and see if I can find these locked structures I'm pretty sure that there was one in the area that you start somewhere it was somewhere I'll find it I'll find it Oh yeah, something I also forgot to mention is that I upgraded my equipment. I was going to do it and I did. So I got some chain mail, a cushioned coat made from interlocking loops of silver. And I also got a silver shield. I really like the shield. I think it looks really cool. A bejeweled buckler buffed to a silvery sheen. So these are most likely the, the best shields and armor you can get. I also have the sword falcon blade. I think I have the best equipment that you can get. Well, this chapter anyway. And and I think, was it the armor? I'm not sure if it was either the armor or the shield, but one of them needed sapphire. And god, that stuff is a pain to get. You might have seen while we were playing, but sapphire only drops from the mages in the brick castle area. So it was kind of hard to get it to drop because it's kind of a rare drop. But I managed to get one in the end. Probably took me about half an hour. So I guess I was lucky actually. Oh, 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 I think I can see it. So it's near the puzzle. Remember we did a puzzle over on that side and there is one over here. We actually have one more puzzle to do as well through the last teleportal. If you remember, I walked past it and I said we were gonna go back there later. So I wanna do that today as well. Just wanna finish up everything before we are completely ready to face the condor. I reckon there'll be quite a few invasions first though. Like for the golem, there was a ton of invasions first. So we're probably gonna be doing a lot of battling. So here we go, let's unlock the door and see what awaits us behind it. Here we go. There's a chest, what is it? It's a Yggstral Essence. What the hell does that do? It's an exotic elixir made to mirror the world's trees do revives and restores you to full health upon death automatically used if held oh nice so if i die it's basically an instant revival that is really nice oh i got a ghost in here with me get out ghost get out what do you think you're doing i'll use my new sword and show you it's really cool it's like this sword is kind of like when you hit it kind of does like a double attack it's really nice really good all right we're going to return to base and i don't think there was any more structures here i think there was just the one if i remember but i remember there 
there was quite a few through the different teleportals. Let me see if I can remember where they all are. And I also want to do that puzzle too. We're going to go bed first because I don't want to go out at night time. So let's go. Is there a spare bed? Oh, there. Okay, I found one. All right, so through the first teleporter, that's where we're going to go. And if I remember, you know where the prickly dungeon was? Remember when we fell down there and there was like a ton of paralyzed plants? I'm pretty sure somewhere near there, there was another structure that we could open. Man, it's been a long time since we were in this area. As you can tell, there is literally no stone. There used to be a lot of stone in this area, but I nabbed it all. <laughs> you gotta be a true plunderer on this game. I can see it, I can see it. I can see the locked structure. So I'm not sure if there's any more. I think it was just the one, but it's kind of hard to remember. It's such a long time ago. So I may miss some, but I try not to. <laughs> so we got one here to open. Let's see, open, open sesame. A locked door is now open. Let's go in the chest. Give me some goodies. We got a first set of featherfall footwear. Yay! No fall damage at last. Thank God for that. What shall we unequip though? I've got increased max HP by 10 or I have protects against confusion. Now we'll have the feather foot footwear and the HP on at the moment. I think, you know, I could take these chests and use them for my treasure room. Not that I need any more chests, really. But I'll take the door and let's see if there's any fruit any more of the teleportals. Pretty sure there was some in every teleportal, I think. All right, so the next area that I am going to check is the, what's it called, Brick Castle, which is through the red one, I think. We're going to go to the Brick Castle. Remember, after we fought the Lunatic Boss, there was two locked doors either side of the Lunatic Boss. Man, I can't believe how good my memory is <laughs> with some of these. I don't know why I seem to remember things on this game. I think I'm just so into it and I'm just so intrigued to see what is behind all of these doors. I don't know if I'm getting all of them, I hope I am because I would love to be able to open all of the locked doors, that would be really cool. But I'm going to make my way to the brick castle now. Okay, on my way to the castle, I ran into this, like I went up really high and I saw this and I was like, oh I wonder what that is and it looks strange what is that i'm gonna go examine it in a second just to see what that is see flowers and a dead body and is this a robot of some kind oh i'm being attacked I'm being attacked by a mage get away mage go away go away nobody likes mages <laughs> no i'm joking i do i love mages <laughs> but not evil mages all right let's examine no reply it's just a pile of scrap metal oh but there's something in its hand Multi obtains a tribute to a missing maker blueprint. A what? A missing maker blueprint? What the hell is that? Alright, let me just see. A garden of remembrance where mourners might pay their respects in peace. Oh, it's a garden. Okay, let me put this down and have a look at it. It's just got memorials, some flowers, a bench. And stuff it's not really like that impressive we can make it though when we get back to base I mean why not this is just a cleanup episode just a finishing up episode just so we can finish up stuff before moving on to the invasions and all the craziness I just want a bit of relaxation before we do that so I'm definitely gonna go over to the brick castle now Okay, here we go. Remember here, we had some locked doors here and it looks like there's some chests in there. So let's use our key. Open the door. Look, cell doors here too. You can take cell doors. Nice. Oh god, this is narrow. What have we found? Oh, I think we found some divine daggers. I just got some more. I already made some. They're just projectiles. I've never actually used them, but you just throw them and they're just projectiles. I'm not sure if they're any good or not. Oh, oh, oh my god. Loads of, loads of ghosts just came. Let's try it out then. Let's try it out. Oh, it paralyzes them too. Nice. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. It does... Mm, damage isn't that great, but it stops the enemies from moving. So that is actually really handy because it can do that. And I actually have 50 of them now because I think when you create... Like when you create your first lot, it makes them in a bundle of 30. So it makes quite a lot in one go. So let's unlock this side as well. What's in this door? Door number three. This one is gold. We got some gold. Yay. Oh, I'm stuck in here. <laughs> okay, where should we go next? I'm not sure. I think we only have one more teleporter. 
to go to. Okay, I just looked at a guide just very, very quickly just to see if there was any that I've missed. And I don't think I've missed any in the first teleporter, but there was one saying that there is a tower near where you find Ilias. Was he in through this teleporter? I think he was. I need to remember where he was now because I can't remember. Ah, this one! Ah, see. So the guide said on the way to Ilias and I completely, I didn't know where to go because like I was already, I was at Ilias because I was near the brick castle. But I do remember walking past this one now and I completely forgot about this one to be honest with you. So let's go into here and open this one. It's all about treasure chest plundering today. We got a first ring of criti criticality. A ring that brings out the best in its bearer. Increases critical hit rate. Okay, that was kind of obvious, but that's really cool. That's cool, that's cool. That might be quite helpful in the final boss fight. So I think that's it here. The guide says that there is a couple more through the last teleport, so let me see how many, make sure I've got enough keys. There is... I actually don't think there's any, because there's one here that says unlock the door to the maz mausoleum and I think we already did one key in the through the teleport so but there is something I want to do there there is a couple of things that I want to finish up through the very last teleport so if you remember there was a puzzle that we didn't do and I said I would do later and there was also that blue zombie if you remember there was a blue zombie and I said I would come back and defeat him another time because he looked quite strong and to be honest I think he is quite strong so I just decided to come back when I've got better equipment and I actually now have the best equipment in the game so well not in the game but in the chapter I think I really doubt we're going to be unlocking anything better than what I have so yeah let's go and defeat this guy there he is I've got my navi globe down by where the puzzle is so I know exactly where I'm going so there he is there's the blue zombie Kill the blue zombie with our falcon blade. This should definitely be enough to kill him. Cool, he is quite strong. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I did actually kill the gold golem that is in this area. Look how many times this sword attacks. It's really fast. Yeah, I killed the gold golem and um, lo and behold, he dropped gold. <laughs> That's literally all he drops, I think, from what I've seen. But he was actually really easy and I was just intimidated by what he looks like come on come on come on come on kill him kill him kill him we got a first strength ring we're getting so many items today we're definitely preparing for the condor fight <laughs> so what did we get we get just increased strength a bold ring that boosts its wearer's born look how many accessories we've got in this chapter crazy 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 okay so now we are gonna go to the navi globe and finish up the very last puzzle i'm guessing we're gonna be needing our colored blocks because i'm pretty sure this is the last puzzle because we've done all the puzzles through all the teleportals and i really doubt we're gonna be getting another teleportal it would be really cool if we did but i just doubt it because it seems that we had three in the last one so i'm guessing we're gonna have three in this one too and I've not seen any other puzzles, and I don't think we've missed any either, so yeah, let's go, let's go. Alright, here we are, there's my navi globe, I'll take that back. <laughs> let's see what it says. There's a message carved into the monuments. I am Thalamus, the all-knowing, may whosoever have wisdom, let its blinding brilliance shine forth. Upon these isles I have laid three riddles, let he who have unravelled every mystery make proof of his deeds here. Aha, so there's a little space in between each thing, so I'm guessing that's where our blocks need to go. So let's take our blocks, red, blue and white, and does it have to go in any order, or can it just go in any order? Nope, it looks like it has to go in a particular order. How are we, I think we have to go up there and check out what it says to see what order we do it in. So let's go up here and we'll make a little bridge. Upon the island of the city of Rimodar, I laid the riddle of the twins. Make proof of thy wisdom and place thy prize here. The twins, that was the one where we made the rooms identical, I think. And this one, upon the island beyond the blue teleportal, I laid the riddle of evolution. Okay, evolution. Oh, I fell down. So I'm guessing, is this blue? Yep, this is blue. This wasn't red, so it's got to be white. And go away. God damn it. There we go. Look how amazing this knife is, this sword. It's so cool. Okay, let's put the red one in, and we have solved the puzzle! Yay! That was awesome. Let's go collect our reward. This better be a good reward. How many puzzles I had to do for this. Let's see what it is. 
there's an old sheet of paper lying at the bottom of the chest. So I did all this for a bit of paper. Are you for real? Multi reads the message written on it. Oh my god. I am Thalamus, the all-knowing. Yes, I know. I know you are the all-knowing. Thou hast made proof of thy knowledge and let thy blinding brilliance shine forth. I'm just kind of at this point, because he says I'm the all-knowing, I kind of think he's just trying to convince us that he's the all-knowing. <laughs> Is he really the all-knowing? I offer unto thee a just reward. Okay, what is it? Oh, we've learned something. Oh, we've learned how to make a catholicon ring, an almighty accessory that guards against all ills, protects against all status ailments. Okay, that was worth it. I'm actually happy with that, but then what do you need to make it? What is that werewolf doing? <laughs> Shall we put down a thingy majig? We'll put down some workstations and see what exactly it needs to actually make that. I'm not sure if we can make it here or if we have to go back and... Because it might be on like the herbalist workstation or something. I'm not sure where you make it. Let me just see... Yeah, it might be at the herbalist workstation. Okay, let's go back to base then. I don't think there's anything else here. I think we've done everything. Yeah, we've done everything, I think. I hope. <laughs> Okay, so let's go into our herbalist workstation, alchemist laboratory, whatever, whatever you call it. Let's go into here, cathologian, we need some silver, oh, I've got no silver. Well, I'm going to do that off camera, I will go and gather some silver and I will definitely get that ring because that just looks really handy and I've kind of got a little collection going, it, going on here, I've got like all accessories pretty much. <laughs> so I'm going to go to bed and then we are going to make this blueprint because why not, we might as well make it. We got the blueprint, so I just want to see if it gives any like added bonuses or anything like that. I just think it would be really interesting to see. You know what we could do? We could build it in the garden. That would actually be really cool in the garden. Yeah, we'll build it in the garden and then once it's done, I'll change out the blocks because this is obviously going to make it in dirt. So I'll probably change out the blocks afterwards. I'm going to build it. Shall I build it here? Yeah, let's build it right here and I'll move the stuff. So I'll move this bit of grass. Get off. Get off my garden. Put it there. And what we'll do is, after I've built it, I will definitely change out the blocks to something better than dirt. So I don't really... Oh, we could leave it dirt. And I could just put, like, some grass around the top. Because it would suit, actually. It would suit the garden if I left it in dirt. Yeah, I think we might leave it in dirt. But I might just put some, like, grass on the top. I'd find some grass seeds and put some on the top. Won't be too much trouble. It's only a little bit of land. So we need saloon doors. We need a bit more earth, go all the way around again. This is all going to disappear when the Hades Condor comes, but I don't really mind. Okay, I went a little bit wrong there. That goes there, that goes there. Is there someone on the corner? I'm messing up. What am I doing? Oh, I just put a chest there. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh god, I'm just messing up all kinds of horrible today. Right, we're going to do it this way instead. I'm going to stand up and press the bumper to look down and I still went wrong. God damn, I don't know what's the matter with me. Right, we'll take that block from the corner and then plonk that there. And that's the stuff done. So we need some flowers. We need, oh, we need still need one more block. Oh, we still need a bit more dirt on this side. Get some more dirt on this side. There we go. Three, four, five. Ta-da! And now we need saloon doors. Let me just grab some stuff here. Whack that there, and whack that there. Saloon doors, saloon doors, saloon doors. See if we can make some. I really hope that we can, that would be nice. Come on, saloon doors. Please let me make some for free. I don't want to collect anything. Where did I go past it? Well, there's the bench. We need some wood for the bench, and we need some memorials here. I know we need a couple of these. I'm not sure how many. Maybe two, I think maybe two. We need three. We'll make one more in a second then. So we need one there one there and there's one at the back as well so we need some broken branches for that we need some wood for that saloon door is there so we can make the door there's the door make the door Ta -da! there's the door so now all we need is we need a bonfire as well let me see if i might actually have one of those made already there there there, there. i got some there awesome let's put that in the corner Ta -da! and then oh i build a room i built the room go me <laughs> And the other things that we need, we need a 
Milk Blossom, we need three Milk Blossoms, one more wooden memorial and a bench. Let me see if I can do that then. So bench, we need some wood. Memorial, we need cord. We need cord for the wooden memorial. I think we can make some cord. Cord is just used from ivy. You just make cord from ivy, which is really easy to make. And then we should be able to make the last wooden memorial. There we go. I've got a ton of these in the little bit in front of my base as well. A ton of these memorials. So now all we need is milk blossoms and a bench. So bench, you need... We need some wood for the bench, don't we? Yes, I'm gonna have to plant something for that. That's fine. And the other thing we need was milk blossoms. And I think I actually might have some around here somewhere. The white flowers are like kind of annoying to find. So I don't actually have that many of them. So I'll just grab the one from here. Who cares? <laughs> it's just a bit of flower. I can just have two there, it's fine. So I got one, one milk blossom I think I might have some in the base too so I'm sure I'll find some I'm sure I'll find some I had loads of the pink ones you know the pink flowers I had an absolute ton of those because when I was collecting grass the same creatures that drop the grass seeds drop the the pink flowers as well so as I was farming the grass seeds I was also getting a ton of pink flowers so I ended up with like 60 to 70 of them by the time I was finished so there we go there's the flowers all we need now is a bench so all we need is wood so to make wood I found a really easy way to make wood really easy you just put down some earth like this plonk 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 that will do I've done all the plonking and then we plant some trees which i think i've stashed away somewhere oh look i had some wooden memorials i could have used those oh <laughs> is grab these palm seeds and put them on top of the dirt blocks rest for two days and they should sprout into some lovely trees which we can then harvest i remember i've done this so many times and when i was first doing it i was putting down a ton of these blocks and planting trees on them and every time like i woke up after two days there was like a forest in my base it was quite funny <laughs> and i was doing that quite a lot to get the wood wood blocks so i can could build my base Ooh, that's better just went to sleep for two days and now we should have a nice forest in our garden look we got a forest now we should be able to knock these down and finish building our little thingy majig. And then you can the cool thing about these trees and everything is that um you can just keep plonking them them down because every time you destroy a tree, look, you can see that it's dropping the seed again. So you can literally just keep planting them over and over and get like an unlimited supply of wood, which is really awesome. So you don't even need to like leave the base or anything to gather that stuff I just knocked down a load of my stuff by accident <laughs> so I'm just putting it back okay let's finish off this little garden thing that we are doing so let's make some wood we can make 16 pieces of wood from what we gathered and we should be able to make the bench now there we go let's make the bench yay we got a nice little little memorial area here Plonk that there and we are done. Nice. Oh look, I got a trophy, Master Planner. <laughs> Completes the tribute for the... But, oh, we got our first graveyard. A special room of remembrance where flowers are laid on the graves of the dearly departed. Increases automatic HP recovery by one point. I wonder if this will actually count because it's outside. It probably won't actually, but it only increases HP recovery by one point. So it's not really anything major. It's pretty cool though. And I wanted to build it. It's a nice little addition to the outside of, of our base. Nice little graveyard for our garden. So yeah, I'm happy with that. We've got a lot of secret and like tidy up stuff done today i just really wanted to finish off a lot of stuff before tackling the invasion because i think we might be really close but only time will tell we will see in the next video i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time Shoot,